Gotenks is one of those characters that I personally never found anything really fun to play with, but I think that's because I never actually looked for information on him. I don't think he's an amazing character by any stretch of the imagination, but he's definitely not bad. He has a lot of little nuances that really play true to his character from the show. He has a lot of tools that he can catch you off guard with or even just make you have to deal with. And even though I wasn't the biggest fan of Gotenks, I found some really cool stuff. And that's why I'm here today, to share one of those neat little tricks with you. Hi, my name is Jude and thank you for joining me on this tutorial. How to properly perform Gotenks' Key Blast Loop Combo. Now if you've been following along with the previous tutorials I've made, you already know how I like to do things. I'll first show you a demonstration of the combo, go over step by step how to perform the combo, then give you the benefits and tips or slash uses of the combo. So first things first, let's see what this combo looks like. Okay, now, the make or break point of the combo comes from the initial setup. We start off with a 2M into a 5M, mind you, we have to delay that 5M. If we perform the 5M too fast, our opponent will be too high up and we don't want that. The reason for that is because we want them to be lower than us as we fall from the Key Blast. But let me rewind for a second. We do 2M into 5M, check, we got it, we're all on the same page. Now here. Make sure you super jump towards your opponent. The reason for that is so we can be on top of them. If we simply jump upwards without a directional tilt, we're going to whiff our attack. Got it? Cool. Now, this next part is going to be making use of this game's auto combo feature. If you don't know what that is, a brief explanation. When you tap light in succession, the game will begin to form a combo all on its own to assist newcomers to the fighting game genre. Some moves are actually specifically mapped to auto combos. We, however, are going to use this feature to our advantage. Tacked onto the auto combo feature in this game, there's also an auto combo tracking feature that allows you to hit the opponents in places that you normally wouldn't be able to reach. It will track your auto combo to your opponent. It's a neat feature that a lot of combos in this game make use of. Now. Back to what I was saying, we're going to use the auto combo in this game. So LL or light light, make sure only one of Goten's punches connects because he does rapid fire with a single press of L. After that, slight delay on your S or key blast. For those unfamiliar with Goten's, you must hold forward while pressing S so that Goten's will fall forwards after throwing it. Otherwise, he'll sit back. So following that, we're going to press LL once again. You'll notice the auto tracking feature come into place here, giving you unusual height, opposed to if you had just pressed LM. From here, slightly delay your double jump so that you can increase your height above your opponent and continue the follow up, which is going to be LL into slightly delayed S once again. And finally after that S, LL once again into a 2H, your air launcher, and super dash so you can finish the combo with mashing LLL, your auto combo, for the knockdown.
and that's how you perform the combo. Now, just a little side note, do not try and mash your LL out during these loops because it won't register so you can connect the follow-up, at least for me it didn't. So some tidbit information before we go into the benefits of performing the loops. This version of the loops does not work on smaller characters, at least I wasn't able to get it to. So I'll go ahead and show you the universal way of performing these loops that should hit all of the cast. On top of that, I wanted to mention that the loop does work in the corner. There's a neat trick using an assist that allows you to side switch just in case you wanted to put your opponent in the corner. Using an assist can get you an extra loop, and there are other variations of the loop you can perform which are character specific, this being an example of one using an assist or an extension. With that out of the way, some quick benefits of performing the loop. Number one, the damage. Your standard bread and butter combo with Gotenks is going to run you around 4700 damage. Not the greatest damage, he's not exactly a grown man who hits like a truck, so squeezing any little bit of extra ounce of what we can get out of him is going to be a bonus. With the loop, you add an additional 300 damage to your combo, breaking the 5k mark. Number two, the meter. Well, actually, no, it it builds the same meter as your standard bread and butter unless you're going to use an assist for an extension, so never mind this point. Lastly, it looks cool as hell. Normally I'd end the video now, but I wanted to leave you guys with a sweet treat. Here is a fun Todd DOD touch of death combo making use of the loop. Have fun trying it out. That's it for the tutorial, I appreciate you guys rocking with me, if you found the video helpful please leave a like, if it didn't leave a dislike. Comment down below if you enjoy these tutorials and if they're helping you understand the game that little bit more. If you want to see more, subscribe and click the notification bell and if you wanted to support me and the channel check out my Patreon in the description box below. Thank you guys for rocking with me and until next time Space Cowboys, 